Hey guys, Mike again with Extreme Hydrogen Labs. Well, there it is. The Extreme Cell cooking away. It's been roughly four hours now. Well, actually, you know what? About four hours and 15 minutes. And we're pushing 30 amps. I could turn it up higher. But I've been pushing 45.50 for a while. And just look at that. That's just crazy. I'm going to be gone for about a week. So I just figured I'd show you my latest production. I'm trying to find my lighter here. See if we get a shot of that. And I can't even really tell. Let's see. Yeah, we'll just do it like this. We set us back down. Sorry about that. Just show you what we got going on here. Tell me that ain't some shit. Oh, excuse my mouth. That's production. And we're drawing 30 amps. But after 4 hours and 15 minutes, we're hovering 95, 96 degrees. I think that's beautiful. But that's with the cooling unit. I don't know any other way to take care of it. Anybody knows, tell me. Because like I said, not getting after anyone. But I'm yet to see a cooling unit. Unless I've missed it. But, you know, it, we, we've got people bragging that, you know, we're making all this production. And, yeah, that pump's making funny noises. Don't mind that. I'm going to get a better pump. Too bad that one's 300 bucks. I'm yet to see anybody run a cell for a length of period of time. And that's an important thing. You know, think about it. Let's say uh, a four-hour trip up north on a hot day. Or bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic in a hundred-degree day. The cell's going to melt. I mean, unless you get some serious low amperage. And, you know, I can get low amperage. But the production just stinks. So, I don't know why I'm foaming as hard as I am now. I gotta figure that one out. That's straight distilled with some lye in there, but we seem to be foaming up a little more than usual. Maybe it has something to do with conditioning of the plates. I've I've read a little bit about that. I'm not sure I understand it. And I know my cell is sealed, I'm not leaking antifreeze into my cell. As you can tell, that cell is sitting in a bath of Dexcool General Motors antifreeze, which has a lubricant to keep that pump lubricated, but that pump's just not doing all that well. Which I have that pump turned, yeah, you can hear it. It's having a hard time. It's wanting to quit. It's a gear pump. And it doesn't like it. It's meant for diesel fuel. But I figured the, the deck's cool would keep it lubricated. I don't know. Let's see if we can get in here a better shot. Uh, sorry for the picture. That thing's just flooding in there. I mean, that is just... It's just an unbelievable amount. We're going to light it off one more time. Let's step back up over here.